greatest love. Last year, 2019, was a blessed year for us. We've seen God do great things in AFJC. A total of 60 inmates from Valenzuela City Jail were baptized in water in two different events within the year. We had 12 feeding sites around Valenzuela, and the families in those communities are being followed up by the local churches. In the drug surrendering ministry, we had two batch graduations within the year. We witnessed a total of 110 clients graduating. In the transformation, Conference 2019, about 400 delegates are aware of that now we are living in the tale of the last days. And many of them are compelled to win souls as many as possible as the day is approaching. Um, in our mission trip in Palawan, we also ministered to a few tribal groups in Nara. They received clothes, foods, and most importantly, the Word of God. We also served uh, to some prisoners in Iwahig Prison in Tino Farm. We hosted a few mission trip teams and exposed them to what Ministries ASJC is doing in the Philippines. We have two major crusades, one in Palawan and one in Valenzuela. In Jesus Loves Me Christmas gift giving project, we had a total of 570 children and parents who were blessed with many gifts food and the gospel message. We launched a new ministry with the Philippine National Police. We will be handling four groups of police every week. On top of these were the weekly operations where we've seen God perform miracles by His grace and mercy. We believe that God is going to do greater things through AFJC in this new year 2020. We're going to win more souls this 2020. Pray with us that we may see the vision being fulfilled. We pray that God will do greater things in your lives as well as we walk together in His will by the grace of God. I would like to thank you for your support and your partnership with us in 2019 you know, as we enter into a new decade. Let's continue to share his love, his gospel to the people in the Philippines, in India, and different parts of the world. Thank you so much for your partnership. Let's continue to win one more soul for Jesus. And I'll say together, win one more soul for Jesus. One more soul for Jesus. One more soul for Jesus. More souls for 2020. More souls for 2020! 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 More souls in 2020! Yeah, good, well, good morning. morning! Good morning, good morning po yes. mga kapatid. Ayan, Once again, we are you. here in our AFJC Daily <laughs> Devotion! Good morning everyone! Welcome na welcome po kayo at uh, I hope that kung nasan man kayo ngayon, uh -huh. ay uh, ingat lang kayo ng Panginoon. Amen! At kung saan man kayo ngayon, ay <laughs> nandyan po kayo ngayon. Okay. Uh, patuloy lamang po tayo sa ating <laughs> programa. At ngayon, ngayon, partner Jason, meron po tayong ano, kasama na mag speak at yes. important po ito. Important. important. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> ito ay nasa Singapore pa. At yeah. uh, live na live na makakasama po natin ngayon uh, sa ating usapan. Uh. Yes po. Kaya po mga kapatid, abangan po natin yan mamaya. At yung topic po, ano ba yung topic natin ngayon, Pastor? Yes, ang topic natin ngayon is The World Need Jesus. Jesus. Yan, the World Needs yan. Jesus. Huh? Kaya may hashtag tayo ngayon, Partner Jason. Yes, ano yung hashtag natin, Pastor? Ang hashtag natin ay hashtag Share. <laughs> Share. Jesus! Ang hashtag natin ay... Hashtag Share Jesus! If you are watching right now, please comment down below yung ating official hashtag. Walang iba kundi ang Share Jesus. Kaya mga kapatid, patuloy lang tayo sa ating panonood. Medyo nag-ahanghang po ako pero style ko po yan. Ay, huwag po kayo gala. Huwag kang gano'n ito. Robotic na yan. Ganun. Okay, but anyway, before we go to the message of the Lord, batiin muna natin, ay, Ned, 
uh, tawag dito ay tayo muna ay magpuri sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. And mamaya, babatiin na natin yung mga naka-tune in po ngayon. Okay? That's why wala pong bibitaw. At please, um, sing with us and we will sing this song, Till I See You. Yan. Nang Hill Song. Let's, uh, if you know this song, please join with us. Greatest love than anyone could ever know That overcame the cross and grave to find my soul But until I see you face to face Your grace amazing takes me home I trust in you Amazing takes me home. I trust in you. Come on, sing it. Oh, I will live to love you. I will live to love you. I will live to bring you praise. To bring you praise. I will live as child. All I am, I live to see your kingdom come. And in my heart, my prayer, let your will be done. Yes, Jesus. See your face to face. Your grace amazing takes me home. I trust in you. Come on, sing with us. Kahit nandyan po kayo sa inyong tahanan. Let's sing a song. I will live. Salamat o Diyos sa iyong pagliligtas, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, sapagkat ikaw ang aming Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat at 
marapat dapat lang na ikaw ay sabihin at purihin. Salamat po sa pangalan ni Jesus. And everybody will say, Amen! And Amen! Praise the Lord! Praise God! Good morning po again sa lahat! We are so blessed mga kapatid ngayong umagang ito sapagkat alam po natin na ang Diyos ay kasama natin sa araw-araw na Kanyang ginawa. Amen? That's why in our declaration, whether it is good day or bad day, but still, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. Yes, amen. 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 Kaya po, batiin muna natin, partner, yes. yung mga nanonood na sa atin ngayon. Ang dami na naka-online, partner. Yes, yes, yes. Kaya nga, uh, good morning po kila Pastor Aaron Liam at ganun din kila Sister Cherry. Aha. And, good morning, uh, good morning. Ah, uh, si Parin sa, ano, Jerry Santo Domingo nandito na rin. Nandito na. Wow. Yeah. Ang Tantang. tanong, nag-kape ka na ba? Ayan. And Pastor Gian, good morning po. Sabi po ni Pastor Janel, ay uh, uh, blessed Wednesday daw po uh-huh. sa lahat. Ayan. At ganun din si Jera Nueva. Isiya. Hindi, Jera Nueva lang po. <laughs> okay. Good morning po sa inyo. And also, Pastor Stanley at Brother Raul and Greg um, mem- Gempes, good morning po sa inyo. Ayan. Meron pa ba dyan mga babatiin? Yeah, binabati din natin ng isang mga magandang umaga. Yes. Yung senior pastor natin sa World of Wisdom Fellowship. Ayan. Pastor uh, Harold Toroteo. And kay Pastor Deyik and Pastor yeah. Angel ng uh, JJRRC. Oo. Oh, uh, and then si Pastor Edwin Enguero ng JJRRC uh, at Pastor Stanley ng Malabon. And also Pastor Malabon. Chit. No, Pastor Chit and yeah, no. uh, Pastor Jun Seriales. Yun. Na, nakarating na ngayon. Ano? Nakarating na ngayon. Ha? Pero mga ka- oh, oh. Kaya mga kapatid is uh, ngayon alam ko excited na po ang lahat na makinig ng salita ng Diyos. Okay. Okay. At uh, wala pa. <laughs> At tuloy lang tayo. Okay. Ganyan. Okay. Pero ang ganun din mga kapatid. Just comment down below uh, yung ating hashtag for today. Okay. If you're watching right now and let's declare ito. ito ang ganda ng hashtag natin ngayon eh. Share, hashtag share Jesus. Jesus. Kaya please comment down below. Yung ano, okay, start na po natin. Ito, katulad nga lang, ano natin ngayon, hashtag share Jesus. Yan. Yan. Paramihan tayo, paramihan. Yan. Yan. Ano, share ano. Jesus. Share. Alam nyo po kasi, ngayong, uh, ngayong ano, mga panahon ito, ang daming mga bad news na ating mga ano, no? Mga ating pinagdaraanan. But still, meron pa rin dapat, kung merong bad news, dapat merong Good news. At exactly. ang good news na ito, walang iba kundi si Jesus. Amen. Kaya yeah. nga, yung dapat i-share natin, spread the gospel, Sp- not the virus. Yun, yan ang declaration yeah. ngayon ng, ano, ng uh, speaker natin. Oh yes, ng uh, AFJC din. Ngayon, uh, ang ating ano ngayon is spread, ay na, do not spread, spread the, the, vi- the virus, but spread the gospel. Tama ba ako? Tama, tama. Tama, tama. tama ba ako? <laughs> Nagulat ako sa spread the virus. <laughs> you know, you know. Okay, sige. One, two, sige. Ikaw na muna. Solo, solo. Do One, not two, spread. Go. Do not spread the virus. Yan. Spread the gospel. Yan. Baka magkamali tayo. Uh, Delikado eh. Okay. <laughs> yes, si Sister Anna Lynn. Um, Bugtong Villacorte. Good morning po sa inyo. Hello, Ninang. Good morning po. At ganun din si Sister Ellen Mendoza. Mendoza. Sabi niya po, blessed mid- midweek po. Yan. God is with us. Amen, amen. At nag-hashtag na rin si Pastora Janelle. Yan, hashtag. Yeah. Sino pa kaya mga mag- mag-hashtag Ako, ngayon? May, ber- may, birthday, natin, may mga birthday po ba ngayon? Kung birthday mo ngayon, just comment down below at baba- babatiin po namin Wala kayo. Wala pang nag-ano yung oh, comments ng birthday. Yeah. Anyway, those who have birthday this July, this month of July, ano po? Happy, happy birthday po sa inyo lahat, yes. mga kapatid. Yes, yes, yes. Ayan. Uh, ayan. At, uh, ayan. Now, let's go to our trivia. Ayan na po. Ay, brother Brian Sulidor, ang Kuya Kim ng AFJC. <laughs> sarili, sarili lang. Ah. Wala pa, wala. Wait lang, wait lang daw. Sarili lang. Wala pa siya sa camera. Naku po. Ayan na. Ayan na. Ayan na. Oh, ulit, ulit, ulit. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ato, kaya makin, ma, ma, makinig po kayo mabuti sa trivia ni Brother Brian. Yan. Matang. Oh. 
Okay, good morning po sa bawat isa po sa ating lahat. Trivia po muna tayo dyan, mga kapatid. Ang trivia po natin ngayong umaga po na ito ay manggagaling sa Old Testament. Alam niyo po ba kung alin sa mga salitong libro na sinulat ni Moses ang may tema ng kabanalan? Walang iba kundi ang aklat ng Leviticus. Ang aklat ng Leviticus po, ayon sa pag-aaral ng mga Bible scholars, ay may dalawa po itong expression. Ang kadosh na ang ibig sabihin, Ibig sabihin ay holy at kodesh naman na ang ibig sabihin ay holiness. Aklat ng Leviticus po ay nakasentro pagdating po sa kabanalan ng Diyos. Aklat ng Leviticus ay nagtuturo sa kung paano magkakaroon ng maayos na relasyon ang mga tao sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pag-aalay ng mga hayop at sa pamamagitan din ng pagsunod sa mga batas at alintuntunin ng Diyos. At ayun lamang po yung trivia natin for today mga kapatid. Tutok lang po sa AFJC Prayer Warrior Morning Devotion. Thank you so much. Ano yan, gabi yung ating Bible trivia na yan. Ano? Salamat ang matang lawin ng AFJC. Ay, bayan, uh, bayan, uh, uh, pero meron din tayong talaga ito, literal na matatang. Joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> ne, I mean, ang ibig sabihin, mabilis ang matang. Mapagmatan. Ano mo sasabi mo, kapatid na Joseph? Kasi ang paborito niya po talaga na song ay Open the Eyes. Okay. Ngayon, mga kapatid, patuloy lang po tayo. Okay? Sabi ni Ma'am Juliet, I love that song. Till I see you. Ayan, medyo, konting ano na lang po kasi medyo nagkaroon lang ng konting, konting, konting technical problem doon po sa ating Zoom para po sa sharing ni Pastor Alvin. Kaya, this time po, please comment down below. Ayan, si Pastor Janel, may sinabi daw po. Ayan, sabi ni Pastor Janel, bukas pa po birthday ng bonsu ko si Zoe. Po, pass. David, please include her po sa prayer. May cough and cold po siya. Thank you. Thank you po. God bless. Yes, we will include si Zoe sa kanyang, uh, sa ating prayer. Uh, may the Lord bless Zoe. At ganun din, pagalingin na ng Lord, no? Uh, sa kanyang cup and cold. Uh, kaya, ayan, good morning din. Binabati rin po namin si lovely Roberto. Ayan, do, donkey. Ayan. Uh, good morning po sa'yo. What a lovely day. Ayan, sabi Kaya sabi Sabi ni Pastor Alan na doon Hashtag spread the gospel Inihintay ko lagi dito Partner yung mga banat nito At ang karaan Medyo tahimik siya yung wala siya yung mga hashtag Wala na eh Oo yan, hashtag simulan mo ng magbahagi. Mga kapatid, this time, no, kung meron po, kung nanonood po kayo ngayon, uh, please, um, ano yung comment down po yung ano, yung mga struggle nyo po pagdating sa mga pag-share ng gospel. No? Ano ba yung mga na-encounter natin pagdating ng, ng, ano, ng pag-share ng gospel? No? Ang daming ganyan. Ikaw ba, partner Jason, meron ka bang oh. ano, encounter noon na, na no, nung nag-share ka ng gospel, eh, binato ka ka ng kamatis? May, hindi, may mga, hindi pa. Hindi, hindi pa, pa naman. Hindi pa naman sa wala pa naman ganun point. Uh -huh. Pero ano, yung hindi kami pinapasok doon sa room ng, ano, uh -huh. ng hospital. Oo. Oh, okay. And yung hindi ka, hindi ano? Sabi yung, hindi pa kami tumatanggap niyan, wala pa kami pera. Oo. Hindi oh, oh. <laughs> naman tayo nanghingin ang pera. Yun nga eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero, biyaya ng Diyos. Ako nga, that time, ano, ano uh, sa loob din ng hospital, habang ako ay nagsishare, bigla akong sinagawan. Sabi ko, umalis ka dito! Manghihingi ka lang, hindi nga po magbibigay kami, oh. <laughs> Pero nga, ganun. Uh, kaya, tapos pinagtatawanan, tinutuya, Uh, pero bandang uli naman, nakikita naman natin yung pagkilos ng banal na espiritu at sila ay tumatanggap kay Kristo. Yes, yeah, kaya napakasarap po. Yan o, may hugot dito si, ano, si Pastor Stanley Taihon. Sabi niya ay mapoprotektahan tayo ng face shield pero maliligtas tayo ng faith shield. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Jesus. Yan. <laughs> 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 Sabi, yeah. naman, sabi naman daw uh, ni, ni Pastor Alan, paki-shout out na ang aking asawa na nanonood. Yun! Yan! Yan! Hello, Tintin! 
Bati na ba kayo? <laughs> Bati na, joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> And then, like, shout out, syempre naman, talagang uh, miss na miss na. Gusto na nga umuwi ni Alan, pero sabi ko, may ano pa. May pasok pa. Oh, may pasok pa. Uh, may pa. Five, mamaya five. pa, mamaya mga pa. Pero, miss na miss ka na niya. Yeah. <laughs> Ayan, kaya, eh si Pastor John, kasama natin ngayon. Pastor John, kamusta ka na? Pastor John Solomon? Oo, uh, oh, Pastor John Solomon, kasama natin ngayon. Yeah. Oh. Sana ma-invite natin one time na Pastor John. Oo, oh, oh, sana maka... Ano, Baka one, naman, Pastor. Oo, oh, one of this one day. Of this day uh. Yan, makasama na namin si Pastor. Now, ano yung mga ano mga mga experiences po ninyo sa inyong pag-share? Sino po dito nag-share ng gospel? Tapos, you can comment down below uh, para we, ano ma... ma Matuto po kami sa inyo. Ayan, habang naghihintay po kay Pastor Alvin. Medyo, medyo malayo pa yung biyahe. Singapore oh, ba Singapore naman? Ba? <laughs> Nasa airport ba ko? Oh, Sinusunod po natin. <laughs> Ay, uh, medyo na-delay po tayo ngayon. Pasensya na po. Ano? Pero yan, patuloy lamang po tayo. Uh, uh, partner Jason, ano ba yung mga balibalita ngayon sa ating bansa? Meron ka ba yan? Wala na. Close na yung ABS eh. Ay, kakakali. Kala nga lamas na balita eh. Ay, meron din tawag dito si si at brother Brian, meron daw balita yung yes. nangyari sa Israel. Ano yun, okay. yung yung regarding do sa ba, bagong balita. Ano, matanglawin ng anang uh, AFJC. Ano, i, i, ibahagi mo sa amin yung bagong good news, good news ngayon. Update para sa COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sige, update, update. One, two, three, go. Yeah, update, update. <laughs> Magbabalita! Pasok, Brian! Ngayon, yung update po daw, ang update. Ang update po natin ngayon sa Israel, may good news po tayo na neutralize na po nila yung COVID-19 at marami na pong nakarecover sa Israel at sa virus po. Yung lamo. Ayan po yung update ng ating uh, matang lawin. Uh, habang naghihintay po tayo si Brother Joseph po ay magre-render ng song. Yo. Ah, uh, yan na. Uh, 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 Brother Joseph, ano? Okay, please. Sige, sige. Ano? So, magsasol, magsasolo po si Joseph. Tara dito, Joseph. <laughs> Uh, ang paborito niya po eh ano ay lodi ko to lodi ba duit kami yan 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 okay oh, sige, sige po mo, kahit ano sige po sige po ayan pa si nayari pa ako Let's welcome Brother Joseph Tobia. Wait, nag-iisip pa ako ng kanta. Nag-iisip pa ako ng kanta. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ayaw mo, ayaw mo, ayaw mo. I will be here. Hindi, ayaw ko. Christian song, Christian song. Hindi mo kalimutan ko yung title. Title na na lang. Sige, game. Some <laughs> Mataas siya, mataas. Ano na lang? Uh, Grace changes everything. Sorry mga kapatid ah. Na-impromptu po tayo. Ito po, para po ito sa Panginoon. Hallelujah, puri ng Diyos. From darkness to light, 
from dead into life, His grace. Inaabahan ako. Pwede <laughs> inaabahan ako. Pag niya ako sinay kumanta. From broken to hostess to wider than snow, His grace changes everything. Sabi-sabi po tayong purihin ng Diyos. Awiting ito. His grace changes everything. Minsan pa po, from darkness to light. From darkness to light, dead into life, His grace changes everything. From broken to whole, from broken to whole, stained to whiter than snow, His grace changes everything. His grace changes everything. Changes everything. There's no sin too great. There's no pain too deep. The cross declares it is done. There's no shame too real. There's no shame too real. That is love on hill forever. The victory is won. Purihin po ang Diyos. Magandang maga po sa bawat isa. Amen. Praise God. Narinig po natin ang uh, a golden voice ni uh, Brother Joseph Tobias. And this time, hindi na po natin patagalin ang mag-share ng salita ng Diyos. Uh, all the way from Singapore po. At uh, siya po ang president ng uh, um, Ambassadors for Jesus Christ. At siya po ang kuya ng lahat dito sa ating organisasyon. At uh, let's welcome ang uh, very passionate sa pag-share ng gospel, Evangelist Alvin To. Hello, a very good morning to all of you. First of all, can all of you hear me? Yes, Is it okay? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, praise God. You know, I'm so happy to see so many familiar faces and people that came online. You know, as I was looking at the Facebook Live and all the different names, it really bring back very good memories of different things that we have done before. Like maybe some of you have partnered with AFJC, Some of you have volunteered in AFJC. Some of you have uh, participated in our crusade in various ways. You know, I just want to say thank you. And maybe for, for some of you, you have not involved in the ministry of AFJC. You know, this day, I will also want to encourage you to continue to spread the gospel at where you are. Because I believe that is one of the most important things that we can do. As Christian, Amen. You know, brother and sister, pastor, pastoral. You know, this morning I'm so pleased that I can come online to share the word of God to you. It's just going to be a very short message. You know, as someone that has a burden for the word of evangelism, I'm not going to share a message on prayer. I'm not going to share a message on our character or different things. I can leave it to all my wonderful. Colleagues in Christ that they will do the work, but here I am. I'm continuing to share the burden that God lay in my heart, and that is the world need Jesus. In spite of what is happening in this world, that is happening across the whole globe with this pandemic COVID-19 situation. But what we want to understand is, is that. COVID-19 pandemic situation, if you are thinking about the death rate per day, in fact, it's lesser than the death rate of many other disease, but yet it's being highlighted as the major issue right now in this time. But I want to highlight to you, physically, we may feel so, but spiritually, what will God see? In the aspect as a human, physically, we feel the impact. We feel the impact as a human being with the COVID-19. Some of us, we feel the impact physically. Maybe our family members are sick and we sympathize with your situation. Some of us, 
we feel the impact through our business, through our work, financially, we feel the impact. And that is very real, we understand. But that is physical. We see that as a physical impact. How about God? Day to day, what does God see in the whole world? The whole world, many people are dying, not because of just COVID-19 situation. They are dying through different disease, through different things. And some of them, they die because firstly, they do not know God. And because they do not know God, they indulge in things that causes them spiritual death and eventually physical death. They do not know God. They die without knowing God. And that is why I want to tell you, the world needs Jesus. The world needs Jesus above all different diseases, including the one that's being highlighted to us right now, COVID-19. But above all this, the spiritual disease. And that is where people do not know God and they die without knowing God. And as Christians, we must always remember that is our responsibility. And that is to share the gospel, to encourage our people to share the gospel. You know, before I'm going to share the Bible verse, let's just, let us just commit this time to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning as I share, Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit will speak to us, encourage all of us as we look to you. And I commit this time to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, even as I was doing that short prayer just now, I closed my eyes. I see a cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, coming to Matthew chapter 9, I want to share from... Matthew 10, verse 35 to 38. From verse 35, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Dear brother and sister and friends, this morning, first of all, I want to highlight to you what Jesus mentioned in verse 36. It says that when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them. I want to highlight the key word to you, compassion on them. Jesus do not share the gospel because simply just Father asked him to. Yes, Father God asked him to do that, but not just only that simple reason. Jesus did not share the gospel because someone asked him to. Jesus did not share the gospel because the church, the synagogues of that time asked him to. But we saw the key word why Jesus shared the gospel. And that is also the key word why you and me will have the burden to share the gospel. The key word is compassion. Jesus, he had compassion on them because he saw that they are like sheep without shepherd. Today, when you see the people around you, people in your barangay, people around your church, non-Christians that do not know God, do you still have compassion on them or do you run evangelism just because of a routine? Do you run evangelism just because of a system that's in place to do it so that everyone knows you're doing evangelism? Do you do evangelism just because AFJC encourage you? That is all good. Nothing wrong, but I want to encourage you. The best thing that you share the gospel is because you have compassion on the unbelievers. You have compassion seeing that when they do not know Jesus, they will die 
and they will go to hell without knowing God. I want to encourage you. We to have compassion on the unbeliever. And through that compassion, God will bring forth that burden in your heart to share the gospel. God will bring forth that burden in your heart to encourage your members. If you are a pastor, you are church leaders, God will bring that burden. But first of all, you've got to ask yourself, Lord, do I still have compassion? Or do I just live through the routine, the system of the church doing evangelism? If you do not have the compassion, how? I will share to you later on. But the key thing is you can pray to God and God can give you the compassion once again. I want to share to you that Jesus said to them in verse 38, Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore to send out workers into his harvest field. If, voila, compassion. Sometimes it happens to me. Also, I don't feel the burden. I feel like more like a routine. I'm doing this, fulfilling what God wants me to do. But God will always remind me through different events and through different things. Sometimes it's through the crusade. Through the crusade, during the moment when I preach and when people come to the altar call and when I see people cry, and once again, God touched my heart. God touched my heart that the world needs Jesus. Sometimes it's when I was driving in Metro Manila and I was driving, I look out from my car window and I see the people, some of them, many children on the streets and people just walking around, the adults. And in my heart, once again, God laid that burden. Elvin, do you care for all these people? Do you have compassion on them? And there is moment where I feel my compassion for them is not deep or serious. And that's where God lay my heart. Pray again. Let's pray. Ask God. Ask the Lord of the harvest. And I will give you the burden. I will give you the passion. Brother and sister, you can ask. You can ask God. God, soften my heart. Help me to remember the loss. And God will use different situations, events, things that will touch your heart to remember the loss. I want to come back to a few verses before. I say in verse 38, ask the Lord of harvest. But I will turn back to verse 37. Jesus said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The harvest is a lot, brother and sister, it's everywhere. There's always non-believers that is waiting for us to share the gospel to them. And I remember my story. You know, some of you, you heard it in the uh, OMS, One More Soul for Jesus Conference, the evangelism training. But that is true because that's really my story. I went to work in the harvest before. When I say harvest, it's the physical harvest, the real harvest, the... I worked in the farm before. And I remember working in the farm. It wasn't easy. I worked only just for one day. I just tried. The time I was in Australia, trying out. And my friend said, hey, let's work as in the farm for one day. Uh, maybe a week. So I went. And very early in the morning, very early, like about 3.30, we have to wake up. Because the farm is very far. And we have to reach the farm close to 4.30 to, or to 5 for report to the supervisor. And we wake up very early, travel close to one hour. And when we reach the farm, wow, the supervisor, the first thing he did was he got everyone to wear a lot of things. The hat, the clothing, the shoes and everything. Before you know, before I started the work, I'm already sweating, really sweating. And I feel so discomfort. I said, ah, oh, you know, so difficult. I tell my friend, wow, so difficult. To, to be a farmer, right? Yeah. Then we started the work and we were picking cherry tomatoes one by one. And we have to fill out the whole basket of the tomato, uh, the filled with the cherry tomato in order to get like maybe $10 uh, per basket and something like that, $5 or $10. And I was, 
Wow, it's so hard work. And when I was doing halfway right, there's so many flies, mosquito coming from all direction. I was like, wow, it's so difficult to work in the harvest field. You know, at that moment, I was also telling my friend, hey, his name, my friend's name is Daniel. Daniel, you, when we are traveling on the way, I saw a McDonald's. Eh? Why not we stop the work and go to the McDonald's right now? You know, I want to, I want to stop. <laughs> it's so tired. Oh, so bra, so bra difficult now. Let's let's go to McDonald's. And I was doing all those things. That moment, Holy Spirit, boom, spoke to me. He said, Elvin, look up to the whole entire field, to the harvest. And I lift up my head and I look across. At that moment, the Bible verse came. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And that's so true. When I look across, Cross harvest, Mara meat harvest, Pero Sobra Conti workers. None. Very little workers. And I witnessed that even in the physical harvest. And God spoke to me the same thing in the spiritual harvest. Elvin, don't forget this moment. Don't forget this moment. And always remember to be the laborers in the harvest field. Brother and sister, that story that I have is real. That is my experience. But it's true. The harvest is plentiful. Laborers are few. Today, as you hear the message, maybe you go through life, but maybe you will ask God, Lord, do I really care for the non-believers? As being a Christian, do I really care for the non-believers? Do they have the opportunity to hear the gospel through my life, through me? Maybe some of you, you are working in different places. You're working in call center, you're working in the hospital, you're working in the school, you're working in places that I do not work in. I do not have the opportunity to share to your friends, to your colleagues. But guess what? You have the responsibility. You have the opportunity. So I want to encourage you to do that. And I also want to highlight to you that moment when I was looking at the physical harvest, I also saw that there were so many fruits. And in my mind, I'm thinking maybe the fruits, some of it will not be harvest and will die. So I asked my supervisor at the end of the day, I said, what happened to the fruits that, uh, that no one harvests? The supervisor just said it will, it will die. You will die, you know, then we have to collect and put aside. True. That is the truth. Similarly, for those people out there, when they don't get harvested, when they don't get to hear the gospel, the Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. The wages of sin, it means that without hearing gospel, the wages... Their day-to-day demand of their life, day-to-day wages will cause them spiritual death eventually and then physical death without knowing Christ. But the gift of God, it means that when they get to hear the gospel, the gift that deposited into their life will be eternal life in Jesus Christ. You are the one that's going to present the gift to them, that give them the opportunity to have this eternal life. Brother and sister, Just like the fruits, they will die and put aside. Just like the non-believers, they will die without hearing God and put aside. But you are the answer. The world needs Jesus and you are the answer. I just want to end by saying something to you. I remember a few years ago, I was at one of my friend's uh, birthday party and uh, being at the birthday party and before going to the birthday party, I was also doing some ministry. So honestly, as a as a minister or as a human, I, that day was enough. I just want to also relax, chill, you know, take it easy, and just have a good night with my friends at uh, birthday party. And I was there, you know, fellowshipping with all my brother and sister friends, and I was happy. And at that moment. seated beside a 
like uncle, like Katai, like old man. And I was eating. Then suddenly, uh, I have uh, this friend that uh, tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, this is my papa. Can you share the gospel to him? And I was like, huh? Share the gospel to him? I was, I'm eating right now. Eh. Uh, maybe another day, you know, will your papa still be in the church or something? Uh, because in my mind, uh, to be honest, I just want to rest. I'm human. I'm sharing to you honestly. I just want to rest. Then uh, I was eating halfway. Then my mind is thinking, oh God, you know, why Why am I so selfish now? And I, maybe I should share the gospel to him. Uh, maybe after the food, God, after the food. Then you know what Holy Spirit say? Alvin, this is your holy opportunity. Maybe after the food finish, the tatai will walk away. And then you will give more excuse. You don't want to share the gospel. Right? Maybe other people will sit beside you and then you chit-chat with the other people and you forget. That moment, Holy Spirit speak to me. Share the gospel now. Put your food aside. I say, okay, God, I'll do that. Because you say so. So I put my food aside. Then I share the gospel. Brother and sister, I want to tell you something. I never share like a very powerful message eh, that day. Very simple. Simple gospel. Like, oh, do you know God? Da, 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 da. Then suddenly, uh, to my surprise, he won the sinner's prayer. Eh, and then we pray. My friend is so touched. Later on, do you know what my friend said to me? To my very sobra surprise. My friend say, his papa have listened to the gospel for years. So many people share. So he keeps sharing. And the father so stubborn, super stubborn, don't want to believe God. But that night, uh, don't know why he received Jesus. Eh. Then my friend cried. Say, oh, thank you so much. You know, you made the effort to share the gospel. But in my mind, you know, I'm thinking, oh God, I actually do nothing. Eh. This is probably one of the worst uh, terrible gospel shock message that I share. I, I didn't share any powerful gospel. Oh Lord, oh, have mercy on me, you know. I do not know what happened. It's really Holy Spirit. Huh? Oh, brother and sister, I learned something that day. It's never about you. It's about you that listening to God when He speaks to you to share the gospel. Right now, do you listen to God as I share to you to have the burden for the world? Continue to share the gospel. God will use you. God wants to use you. God desire the world to be safe. Let us spread the gospel. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. Let's pray as we end this time. Heavenly Father, I come before you. Lord, thank you for this time. Father is indeed your desire for us. It is your burden. Help us to share your burden. For the lost, we know that you have compassion on them. When you look at the people, when you see the crowds, when you see their eyes, the need in the, their eyes for their spiritual needs. You cry for them. You have compassion for them. Father, help us to have compassion for the lost. We are involved in different Christian ministry, Lord. You see some of my brother and sister, leaders, pastor, pastoral. There's always different things to do in ministry. And we need to do that. And it's good because you have called different ones to different ministry. But across all ministry, let us continue to remember to share the gospel because that is your burden, Lord. Father, this day, we commit all of us to you. We commit our heart to you. Lord, you are the Lord of our mercy. We pray, give us the burden. Continue to give us the desire to share the gospel to the lost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everyone, for this morning that you came online and joined us. You know, we are thankful to see you.
We hope to see you more often. God bless you. Have a good day. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. That was a good uh, message from our dear pastor, Pastor Arvinto, uh, reminding us, mga kapatid, na kailangan ng mundo si Kristo. Amen. Amen. That's why this time, um, before we go to, ano, ano, to uh, reflection, and I uh, just want to encourage you, any take home po, please comment down below. Okay, just just give your reflection, your take home, and then we will read that later. And this time, di ko na po patagalin yun. Alam ko po, ang daming mga natutunan ng mga kasama po natin dito uh, to give their take home po, reflection doon po sa narinig nating salita ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang lingkod na si Pastor Arvin to. Unahin lang po natin yung mga nasa likod, ano? Yan, si uh, Sister Q. Yes, yan, yeah. Sister Q. Na mag-share ng kanyang reflection. morning. Actually, ano eh, nag-strike to sa akin yung ano, kasi sometimes we're looking for a platform. We're looking for the ministry. We're looking for the, ano, um, parang event para mag-share ng gospel. Pero um, we are called, uh, we are chosen to to share His word. Uh, sometimes iniisip natin, um, gusto kong maging light, gusto kong maging salt, gusto kong maging encouragement. And how? Hindi tayo gumagawa ng ano, ng 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 tawag ito, ng ng step. Hindi tayo gumagawa ng paraan kung paano. Uh, this time, um, I've been reminded na huwag ka lang, ano, huwag ka lang mag-sit back, huwag ka lang, oo, nananalangan tayo, pinapanalangin natin sila. Pero kailangan, mag, ano rin tayo, mag-plant din tayo ng seed para sa mga tao. Especially dun sa mga lost. Yan lang. Amen. Thank you po. And now, let's go po. Nanay Medi. Nanay Medi. Amen. Yung, yung ano ko, baon ko. <laughs> Sabi nga, eh, you have everything, but without God, you, you are nothing. So, ibig sabihin, uh, meron man tayo lahat sa buhay. Na, minsan, isip natin, napakalakas natin, kaya natin lahat uh, gawin na, na yung parang ginagawa natin lahat para sa ating sarili. Na hindi na ba na, na baga, meron na tayong lahat at uh, Parang iniisip natin, hindi na natin kailangan ang Panginoon kasi malakas ka eh. Meron ka, uh, kompleto ka sa lahat. Pero ang nais lang ng Panginoon sa atin ay makita na, na walang-wala tayo sa... We, can, uh, we, can, we cannot do not uh, We can do nothing without God. So, uh, doon at makita natin, sabi nga eh, kahit sa, ma, uh, sa, kahit sa maliit na paraan, minsan paano natin magamit ang ating buhay. Kahit sa maliit na paraan, uh, ipak- ipakita natin how God loves you. Kung paano na, na Panginoon ipinadama ang kanyang pag-ibig. And you can share it to others also. Kahit sa simple paraan lang. And then, uh, sa, sa ganong pinakita mo, ng pagmamahal mo sa iyong kapwa, sa iyong uh, mga kaibigan, ay makita mo na nakapag-share ka na pala. Yung share na ibahagi sa kanya, ang unang-una ang pag-ibig ng ating Panginoon. Salamat po. Sa, salamat po sa salita ng Panginoon na ibinahagi sa atin ng ating mahal na pastor. Uh, ang salita po ng Panginoon ay tunay na mabisa. Mm-hmm. Salita po ng Panginoon ay mabisa. natin ang salita ng Panginoon sa sa mga taong wala pa sa ating Panginoon. At talaga po na tama po ang sinabi ni Pastor na i-share natin ang, ang 
share natin si Jesus sa mga taong hindi pa nakakaalam. Purihin ang Panginoon sa salita po ng ating pang- mahal na pastor. Maraming salamat po, uh, Pastor, sa inyo pong ibinahagi sa aming ngayong mensahe. Tunay nga po na kailangan na may ibahagi si Kristo sa mga tao. Kailangan na ang lahat ng mananampalataya ay mayroon pong uh, compassion para po sa mga kaluluwang mapapahamak. Dahil kung wala po yung Uh, mga manggagawa upang magbahagi ng salita po ng Diyos ay mapapahamak po ang mga tao. Kaya po sinabi po ng ating pong binsahero ngayon na kailangan ng maraming aanihin ngunit kakaunti lang ang manggagawa. Kaya sabi ng ating minsahero na humingi tayo sa Panginoon ng tulong na magkaroon ng maraming manggagawa upang abutin ang mga taong mapapahama. Maraming salamat po po rin ang Diyos. So yun. Yung take home ko lang po. Katulad nga po ng sinabi ni Pastor Al na share mo yung gospel sa iba. Lahat, lahat ng tao na kailangan si Jesus sa buhay nila. Huwag mo ipagdamot ang gospel. I-share mo sa iba. Katulad nga, sa marami nga pong believers na hindi naman nakakapag-share. Sabi nga po sa 37. Mara, eh, 37. Kaya sinabi niya sa kanya, sa kanyang mga alagad, napakaraming nang aanihin, ngunit kakaunti lang ang magaani. Maraming ang believers pero hindi naman hindi naman nakapag-share. Lahat ng tao kakailanganin ng Diyos sa buhay nila. Kailangan kakailanganin nila ng tagapagligtas sa buhay nila. Alam mo na na ka, alam mo ka, alam mo na kailangan ng tao na ng ng Hesus sa buhay nila. I share mo maging asin at ilaw ka sa iba kasi kasi ko Kung kung masisiyahan mo siya diyan, magkasama kayo sa langit. Magkasama kayo sa langit na magsasaya. Thank you so much. Ngayon naman, uh, let's go with uh, Yan, uh, isa mapagpalang uh, umaga po sa bawat isa. Ah, uh, 'yun lang. Ah, uh, sa akin take home ko, uh, we need to focus our eyes into our Lord para mak para magkaroon tayo ng compassion sa ibang tao at makikita natin yung needy ng, ng ng mundong ito na kailangan nila ang Diyos hindi ang mga bagay, karangyaan o kayamanan sa mundong ito na ang kailangan nila walang iba kundi ang Panginoon diba? sa pamagitan ng pagbabahagi ng salita ng Diyos sa ibang tao at ganun din, kailangan makita rin sa buhay natin bilang followers ng Panginoon kailangan makita rin sa buhay natin yung pagiging uh, Christian natin, yung followers. Para, pa, followers si Christ, para sa pamagitan nun, di ba, mahikayat sila na uh, mahikayat sila at maniwala sila sa mga sinasabi natin tungkol sa salita ng Diyos. Yun lang. Amen. Praise the living God. Ayan, sa akin po, ano, ang ganda po ng mensahe. Ano? Sabi po doon, Uh, the word the word ni Jesus bakit kailangan ng mundo yung bakit kailangan ng mundo si Jesus because he is gracious God and he is good God sabi po sa Psalms 34 uh, tasted and see that the Lord is good tapos sa uh, 1 Peter po sinabi din doon na ano if indeed the Lord is gracious no? if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. So, so napakabuti po ng Panginoon ano, sa bawat isa sa atin. At paano malalaman ng bawat tao na mabuti sa kanila ang Diyos kung walang nagbabahagi sa kanila? Sabi po ito sa Romans chapter 10, verse 13, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. 
But how can they call on Him to save them unless, the, unless they believe in Him? And how can they believe in Him if they have never heard about Him? And how can they hear about Him unless someone tells them? And, ha- and how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? That this is, w- this is why the scripture says, How beautiful are the feet of messengers who bring good news. At tayo po dapat ano, bilang kristyano, gaya ng sinabi kanina ni Josh, mag-ilaw tayo, maging asin tayo, ano, it is a command na kailangan po natin gawin. At gusto ko pong i-quote yung isa pong uh, kasabihan, sabi po dito, People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. At malalaman lang po nila yung pagmamalasakit natin sa kanila kung ni-reach out po natin sila. Yan po. Makikita po nila yung action natin, hindi po yung words natin. Maraming salamat po. Purin pang Diyos. Hello. Ayan. Um, yung message ni Pastor Alvin, ito yung paulit-ulit na paalala sa atin, di ba? The, wor- the world need Jesus. Alam niyo po sa panahon natin ngayon, ano eh, uh, dito na naglabasan talaga yung mga nangilangan kay Kristo. Dito na naglabasan yung mga talagang uh, tumatawag kay Jesus, Lord, ba't ganito yung mga pinagdadaanan ko? Bakit ganito yung mga niraranasan ko? Dito na nag-ultawan yung mga tao na talagang nangilangan kay Jesus, di ba? Alam niyo po sa, sa panahon natin ngayon po, ano eh, uh, kailangan natin bilang isang Kristiyano, abutin yung mga tao na nangangailangan kay Kristo. ba? Diba? Kasi yung, yung pandemic na to, yung, pande- yung COVID na nangyayari ngayong crisis, ba? Diba? Ano na yan eh? Niyanig na tayo ng Diyos eh. Niyanig na ng buong mundo yung, yung, ano eh, yung bawat puso, bawat buhay ng tao na malapit nang dumating si Kristo. Kaya, uh, sabi ni nga ni Kuya, ni Kuya Alvin, magkaroon tayo ng eagerness na ibahagi si Kristo. Kaya, ayun lang po. Salamat. Yanik. Sa akin po, uh, yung reflection ko po sa message po ni Pastor, ni Pastor, ni Pastor Alvin po is yung compassion. Uh, isang bagay po na, ang compassion po, yan po yung isang bagay na magtutulak sa'yo. Dalawang bagay po yan. Una, may enjoy mo yung ministry kapag meron kang compassion, lalat lalo na po pagdating sa pagbabahagi ng salita ng Diyos. Pangalawa, you will endure lahat ng hardship. Kasi, uh, uh, totoo naman, di naman lagi masaya. May mga hardship kang mararanasan when it comes sa pagbabahagi ng salita ng Diyos. Then, I remember din po yung, I just want to quote yung sinabi ni Elton Trueblood. pagdating po sa evangelism. Sabi niya, evangelism is not a professional job for a few trained men, but is instead the, unrelen- and the unrelenting responsibility of every person who belong to the company of Jesus. Amen. Kaya po, napaka-importante po talaga ng pagbabahagi ng salita ng Diyos. Okay, if you want to be a follower of Christ, let us practice, let us do yung command ni, ni Jesus sa atin na let us go and preach the gospel of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Ngayon lamang po. God bless you. Ayan. Good morning po. Ayan, isa sa kagaya lang din yung kay Kuya Alay natutunan ko, yung sinabi ni Pastor Alvin. Uh, let us pray to the Lord to increase our compassion. Lalo na, sabi ng Panginoon, di ba, the When he saw the crowd, diba, they are like a sheep without a shepherd. They are, they are harassed and abused and tormented by the devil. Kung papansinin po natin, ito yung pinakabagay na kailangan po natin sa pag-aakay po ng kaluluwa. Kasi hindi sapat yung may knowledge lang tayo eh. Pagdating po sa evangelism, diba, nakakalungkot lang, the reality in the ministry. Marami pong mga tao may knowledge sa evangelism, but they do not do the evangelism. They are not doing the evangelism. And alin nyo po, bali wala po yung knowledge natin kung hindi po natin ginagawa yun. Aanoy natin yung knowledge ng evangelism kung wala naman tayong compassion. Wala naman tayong desire na mapanumbalik yung mga tao sa sa Panginoon. Kaya it is a great reminder. Tama yung sinabi ni Kuya na ang daming mga namamatay ngayon na walang pagkakilala sa Panginoon. And this is the right time for us as a Christian to share the gospel, especially the people are in the midst of hopelessness, depression, and um, 
yung kalituhan at ito yung at yung salita lamang ng Panginoon yung makakapagpalaya sa kanila yun lamang po at ayun sa akin naman po ay talaga nga naman uh, it is true that the world needs Jesus and unless we see the world through Jesus eyes we cannot see that they need salvation no kailangan nating makita sila sa kung paano sila nakakita ng Panginoon and it is uh, with compassion. So, we must see the people sa na merong puso na mapagmahal, na inaalala sila na paano na lang kung wala silang pagkakilala kay Kristo o paano na lang sila pag sila ay namatay na. Dahil yun po yung katotohanan na balang araw, bawat isa rin ay uh, mamamatay. Pero ang importante, meron tayong Kristo sa ating puso. So, we must continue to share Jesus. Hashtag share Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that uh, magampanan natin yung inuto sa atin ng Panginoon, the Great Commission. Yun lamang po. Amen. Yes, yes the Lord. Amen. Po. And uh, this time, I'd like, we'd like to encourage you to comment down below all of your reflections. dami ng mga nag-comment. Uh, partner Jason. Okay. Now, what is your take home, sa partner akin, Jason? Sa akin doon, Pastor, yung sinabi po ni Pastor Alvin, no, na yung isa sa mga illustration niya, yung binahagi niya yung story niya, mm-hmm. yung nakita niya yung mga bunga, no? Sabi niya, ang dami-daming bunga, pero paano na pag hindi na-harvest to, malamang sayang. Yes. yes. And he felt accountable for those uh, fruits. Ganon din talaga sa buhay natin, eh. Yung mga yung tinawag tayo ng Panginoon, hindi lamang para maligtas, kundi para gamitin ng Diyos na maligtas yung mga tao sa pamamagitan ng Panginoon, di ba? Amen. And every soul na hindi mababahagi na ng, ng salta ng Panginoon, accountable tayo talaga dun eh. Kasi yun talaga ang pinaka-duty natin. When, when Jesus Christ uh, ascended back to heaven, yun ang command. Hindi naman yun ano eh, hindi yun kumbaga parang suggestion, suggestion lang. It's a command eh. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabing command, accountable ka talaga na nagawin yes. yung bagay na yun. Kaya nga napaka-importante na magkaroon tayo ng compassion. Gaya nga sabi sa, sa Bible Codes kanina, pinag, pinaulit-ulit natin ano po, yung sinabi na uh, the, the harvest are plenty, but the workers are few. Amen. Few na nga lang, lazy pa. Amen. Yeah, kailangan talaga magsipag tayo bilang mga krisyano. Hindi lamang na mat- ma- at, like, sabi kanina ni Pastor Alvin, na, nasanin na tayo sa simbahan eh na gato na laging ginagawa natin. Let's move out from that comfort zone and move to those places na hindi pa nararating ng gospel. Yes. Alam niyo ba, alam niyo po ba, partner Jason, sa mga viewers natin, sa mga kasama natin ngayon, kahapon po magkausap kami ni uh, Pastor Alvin and then na-mention niya nga yung ano, yung meron na namang evangelist uh, na matay, no? si, kilala siya si Morris Sorolo. Uh, pero for the past years, sunod-sunod yung mga namatay ng mga well-known evangelists like uh, mga theologian, R.C. Sproul, Rene Hardbonke, uh, Billy Graham, imagine that, Rabbi Zacharias, and then ang daming mga, kumbaga, at, at marami pang mga iba, na mga well-known evangelists, apologists, diba? mga, mga theologian na mga nagsishare ng gospel mga well-known na nagsishare ng gospel and then their influence is so wide. No? Uh, as, I, as we are ano, uh, talking last night, no, at, at, at meditating, sabi, ang daming mga evangelists in this era na sunod-sunod yung pagkamatay nila. And then, alam niyo po yung pumasok sa isip ko, the Lord, the Lord maraming mga namamatay pero marami ding ano, nagra-rise up. That's why the harvest is plentiful and the workers are few. That's why, ano sinabi ni Jesus doon? Ask the Lord of the harvest to send for workers or laborers for the harvest field. That's why, ano, uh, I believe the mara- all of us, no, we are asking. And then, katulad na sinabi ni Jeremiah, no, Lord, sino ang isasend mo? And then, here I am. Isaiah, sorry, Isaiah, sorry. Sabi ni Isaiah, here I am, send me. Diba? Kung meron, that's always my prayer nung no, nasa Bethel pa, pa lang ako. No? Always, that's always, Lord, eto po ako. Gamitin mo po ako. Ako po yung isend mo. Ako po yung gamitin. And then that's always my prayer. I'm not able, I'm not capable. Compare sa mga kaklase ko, compare sa mga kabatchmate ko, they are more good, they are, they are far more better than me. Pero the only prayer that I have, sabi ko, 
the time, every time na nasa loob ako ng chapel, Lord, here I am. Send me. Use me, O God. And lo and behold, by God's grace, nakita ko din naman ang grasya ng Diyos kung paano niya ako ginagamit hanggang sa ngayon. Why, mga kapatid? Because the Lord seek for those people na gustong magpagamit sa Kanya. And at yun yung gagamitin niya ng totohanan. And that's, that's why, and ang problem, ang ano natin, we always ask the Lord for the heart. Lord, send more laborers. How about us? Are we, are we doing the labor? I mean, habang nag-a-ask tayo na marami tayong makasama na mga, mga manggagawa, mas ito it na isa ka sa gumagawa. Hindi lang yung gumagawa. Di ba? Ang, ang, ang punto lang dito, mga kapatid, is we know ang dami sa atin ngayon ang lalakas mag-grant eh. Ang daming re- reklamo na dapat ganito sa gobyerno, dapat ganito ang ginagawa nila, so on and so forth. Mga kapatid, hindi gobyerno ang solusyon para sa, sa, sa pagkababago ng buhay ng tao. Ang walang ibang solusyon dyan kundi si Kristo, ang pagharian ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Lalo na I'm speaking to all of the Christians na I know. Yes, there's always may mga pagkukulang. Anong aasahan natin dito sa mundong ito na hindi naman perfecto, na punong-puno ng kasalanan, na ang nagahari ay si Satanas, na ang, ang, ang layunin, ang gusto ay kaguluhan, kamatayan, at ano, kalituhan at pagkasira. Kaya mga kapatid, ito yung mandato natin. Huwag nating huwag nating isa walang bahala yung bagay na ito na ibahagi natin si Kristo sa lahat ng dako kung ano ang makaka... Eh, pastor, hindi naman ako katulad ng iba. Bakit mo kailangan maging katulad ng iba? Yes. Dapat maging katulad ka ni Kristo. Amen. Tayong lahat ni Kristo. Kung ano ang kanyang ginagawa, let's do that. Hayaan natin ang banal na Espiritu ang gumabay sa atin. Amen? At, ang, at uh, sa bagay na iyan, hallelujah, Ika, kung ikaw ay puspos ng banal na espiritu, kahit sino ka pa, kaya kang gamitin ng Diyos. Amen? Amen? Amen. That's why I hope and I pray that every one of us na napaalalahanan ng ganitong bagay. Tama na yung ano, tama na yung patwitams lang sa loob ng, ng simbahan. Let's share the gospel. Amen? And this time, let's hear from our ano, viewers, mga, mga nag-comment po ngayon. Ano? At let's read Uh, their comments. Sige po, pangunahan mo na po, uh, partner Jason. Ayan. Uh, pasahin ko lang yung sabi dito ni uh, Happy. Ayan, sabi yes. niya, mapagpalang umaga po, AFJC. Ayan, ang sabi pa niya, uh, yun, ulit niya pala yung sabi, <laughs> lahat pala, lahat, lahat ng Ayan. sa AFJC. Sabi ni, ito yung reflection ni, ni Sister Corazon, no? sobrang importante may share ang gospel. Huwag nating sayangin ang oras. Uh, naranasan ko din kami pinapasok sa bahay nila kasi marami silang dahilan, etc. Pero sa may mga sakit, ang bilis nila tumanggap. Pero kapag may bulong ang banal na espiritu na i-share natin, na, natin wag na tayong magpatumpik-tumpik. Gawin natin kaagad. Amen. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Sabi naman ni Ma'am Juliet, don't worry about dying from COVID-19. Aha. Worry about dying without knowing and accepting Jesus. Wow! Yeah. Amen! Tapa, Praise God! Uh, bigat, no? Oh. And sabi niya ni um, Harvey Lara, mm-hmm. just want to quote this verse from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be preached in season on and... Oh, out. sorry. In season and out of season. Amen. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and uh, careful instruction. Let, let's pray to God na bigyan niya pa po tayo lalo ng passion to share the gospel of worker ka man sa church or leader or simpleng member. Amen. Yeah. Si Pastor Allen kanina, kinote niya na yun eh. Nabanggit uh-huh. niya na ito si Elton True Blood. Yung totoong dugo. Oh, <laughs> And then si Ian, ayan, sabi ni Brother Ian Ketalig, uh-huh. if we focus our eyes into the Lord, you see, you will see a needy word. And uh-huh. the Lord will give you compassion to share the word of God to others that they need God on their lives. Yes. Yeah. Sabi naman ni Brian, the evangelism must not be an opinion but yes. must be considered of official command of Jesus and mm-hmm. must be the very nature of every Christian. Ito yung bagay na dapat ay buhay na buhay sa bawat simbahan lalo pat uh, ito ang desire ni Jesus. 
ang maligtas ang mga tao. Amen. Hashtag share Jesus. And then, you know, at dinutungan niya pa to, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. Nakakalungkot na makita ito. Wake up, Christians! Wake up, boy! Do the evangelism! Yan. Many people need Jesus. Share Amen. Sabi Jesus. naman ni Pastor John Solomon, every faithful believer, this must be our mandate. Our method, our message, or motivation, our motivations and our mission is to preach Christ alone. The only way to salvation, nothing more, nothing less. Take every opportunity to do this holy task while we have a plenty of time. Yeah. God si, bless. Totong totoo yan sa buhay ni Pastor, Pastor John Salomon. Talagang lagari ito pagdating mm. sa Ebanghelyo. Amen. Yeah, si, pa, si Pastor Janel, sabi niya, Amen. It is not about just about about imitating Jesus but also participating His mission, ministries. Spread the love and grace of our God as a living testimony. Live according to the example of Jesus Christ and also through His word. Life is short. Let's take all the privileges and opportunity. Hashtag share Jesus. For He cares and love us all. God bless you all of GC. Thank you, Pastor Albin. Yeah. Ayan, thank you so much, Po. And uh, while we're waiting for some of your comments, let's hear some promotions from our dear sister Imari. Yes. Nag error. Nag error. Thank you so much and God bless. Yes. Nag end na siya. Nag end na. Wala na. Wala na rin dito. At nakalive pa rin dito. Okay, thank you. God bless. <laughs> Nakalap kami, pero wala na kami. Bye-bye. <laughs>